Hello everyone, welcome back to Everything Swift. Today we are tackling another legal question titled Two Sum. And the interesting thing is this is question number one. This is the first question in Lead Code. Uh, it is, it is uh, an easy level question, but the reason why I choose to cover this is because apparently there's st still a popular question among uh, various tech companies like Google, Adobe, uh, Facebook, and etc. So I thought I'll be, uh, it'll be good to just cover this question. So let's see what we have to deal with today. Uh, we're given this function here that has two parameters, nums, which is an integer uh, array, and a target, which is type integer, and the output is an array of integer. So basically, um, what we have to do today is, given the numbers inside this array, we have to find two numbers that sums up to this target, and we are supposed to return the index of those numbers, the uh, integers that sums up to that target, right? So let's use this example uh, to clarify things. So we are given this uh, nums array here, which is 2, 7, 11, and 15, and the target is 9, right? The output is 0 and 1. So how do we, uh, what numbers in this array sums up to the value of 9, right? In this example, it's 2 and 7, right? 2 plus 7 gives us 9. Right? And the reason why we are returning 0 and 1 is because that 2 is at index 0 and 7 it is, it is at index 1. Right, So we are not returning 2 and 7, we are not trying to return the value that sums up to the target but rather the index of it. So that's uh, information number 1. And number 2 is that uh, this question already says that there's only one solution. So the moment once we find a solution, we can just exit out of this whole operation. And the next key information is that we cannot use the same element twice, right? So those are the three main things uh, that we, we have to keep in mind. So what's the strategy to solve this question, right? So we do know that there is a relationship between the value and the index here because the output is, we were trying to return the output of it, uh, which is the index rather than the value of the integer, right? So there's that kind of relationship. So I think it will be good for us to have a way to store information uh, uh, to have this relationship between the value and the index, right? And a performant uh, or efficient solution for it is to use a hash map or a dictionary to store the relationship between the value and the index, right? Because hash map dictionary uh, or dictionary like the operations to fetch the values are pretty fast, right? It's, uh, it's a O1 operation. Right? So we definitely need a hash map because of that uh, efficiency to store the value and the index relation. And what we're going to do is that we're going to look through this entire nums array and then we're going to try and find uh, the difference between the target and the value. Right, And at every iteration, if we do not sum up to the target, we'll just add those uh, relationship to the hash map or dictionary. Uh, and if we do find it, and because of this condition here, there's only one solution, we can just return those uh, index information from the hash map uh, directly and just exit out of this entire operation. So I know it's a bit of mouthful, so, but I just want to recap the strategy here. We're going to use a hash map to store the relationship between the value and index, and then we're going to loop through the entire array and try and do the summation of it uh, to this target. If we don't find it, we'll just add those uh, information to the uh, dictionary or hash map. Then, uh, if, but if we do find the solution, then we just return those index and just exit out from the entire function, right? So enough explanation. Let's jump straight into the code and see. Let's let's see how to solve this. So as you guys know, I love to do this operation just to check for just minor uh, performance improvement. Uh, so if it's empty, basically there's no way we can uh, uh, do anything. So we just exit out of this function in that scenario. And like I mentioned, we are going to use a dictionary or a hash map here. So we're going to store the relationship between the value and index, right? So I'm just going to call this day uh, of type index. So now we're going to uh, loop through the entire uh, nums array. So I will 
I need the index and the number information so I'm just going to use the enumerated uh, helper function here enumerated and what we're going to do here is find out the difference right because we're trying to find uh, a summation between two numbers uh, that sums up to this target so let's get the differences uh, diff equals to target minus num and at every iteration we are just going to check if uh, the dictionary and uh, the div right if it's not new if it's not new then we can just get or actually we can just get the previous index I guess uh, mm, uh, let me guess current index for example um, dig and div here and then we'll just return current index sorry sorry guys just type over there. current index and the uh, index of this value right or else then we we're gonna add those uh, information we're gonna add the value which is num and the dictionary right this is in the event we do not find the summation and uh, this is the scenario when we do find uh, the summation so in that event uh, we'll just return here if we do not find any solution so I'll just return I guess negative one and one uh, just to signify that we did not find it so let me just try and run this and hopefully first attempt it's going to be right there we go let's try with more test cases looks good we pass all the test cases uh, let's try and submit this and hopefully we got it right there we go that is the solution for this question so yeah pretty much we just use a dictionary to store the relationship between the value and index and then over here the reason uh, we're doing a for loop looping through the entire uh, nums array here and then we're, we're finding the difference because we're trying to find the summation of it right and if we do have the number uh, before uh, we we'll just extract those uh, current index that signifies because of the diff here it means that that previous value that we saw in the array and this current uh, number is basically the summation or to this target right so we just uh, get the index out from the hash map or dictionary here and then just return it of the previous uh, index I guess here we can just call it previous index uh, just to avoid confusion here and then return the current index here right so pretty much that is the solution uh, for this question so I uh, hope you guys find this video helpful I'll be putting out more videos like this as well as well as I'm going to put out some iOS content as well so if you guys are interested in that it'll be very much helpful if you guys subscribe to this channel uh, and share this channel I'm trying to grow this channel uh, this year as well so Thank you so much for your support and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.